हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स माय लास्ट लेक्चर वाज अबाउट जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड दिस 36 लेक्चर ऑफ माय सीरीज विल बी ऑन इंजीनियरिंग जियोलॉजी व्हाई बिकॉज़ जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड इंजीनियरिंग जियोलॉजी हैज टू मूव वाईसी वर्सा फॉर इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ एनी सर्वेइंग प्रोजेक्ट वर्ल्ड वाइड What actually is ki the application of geology in an engineering way is the need of the art for its application in civil engineering projects. So what basically is engineering geology is it is an applied science based on facts, quantitative analysis, and practical considerations. All these are mixed. For engineering adjustments of man's structures to nature's limitations, in order to create a habitative habitative habitat for uh, man, any kind of habitation may it be buildings, dams, tunnels, roads, highways, anywhere. For greater safety in public works is actually engineering geology. Now, what is geology? Geology is rocks, minerals, soils, their formation, structure, and behavior. What is engineering geology? Engineering geology is application of geologic principles to engineering works. Now, the geotechnical engineers have actually a background of civil engineering, and engineering geologists have background of geology. But in order to make and construct any civil engineering structure in a rocky terrain, both have their importance: the geotechnical engineers, civil engineers, and engineering geologists. How? It is need to understand both the subjects in order to be able to execute the project correctly at the same time. What does the work of engineering geologists include? It includes mapping, characterization of rocks, stability issues, assessing landslide issues, appraising local seismicity and earthquake potentials to any upcoming new project, wherever it may be in a rocky terrain. But what I need to emphasize is that geologist, geologist must understand. Engineering, rather to say, civil engineering, if it is concerned with civil projects, and an engineer, a civil engineer, must understand geology for its useful application in engineering works. अब क्या है soil? Basically, हम लोग जानते हैं कि soil is clay, sand, and mixture of these two things, clay and sand. But rock is vast. Why? may consist of intermediate materials weathered rocks which may be slightly weathered highly weathered etc etc it may be soft rock it may be hard rock when we do our investigations in soil hamare specifications alag hain when we do our investigations in rock hamare specifications alag hain ab geologists and engineers both should in tandem clearly communicate to the design and construction teams for execution of any project on site ab kya engineering geology pe kya cheez focus karni hai ki engineering geology aur geologist ko ya civil engineer ko samajhna chahiye rocks aur soils mein bare minimum basic differences kya hain jisko hame saath mein leke chalna chahiye project ke execution mein because sometimes We may encounter both soil and rock at the site during our investigations. So, we have to have a method to choose. That is, we have to have a structure to be safely executed, so that it serves its purpose for its lifetime. So, rocks are cemented, soils are not. Rocks have low porosity, soils do not have low porosity. They may be, uh, they may have high uh, porosity, uh, high porosity. They may, they may be permeable, etc. So, rather to 
say, what I wish to say, rocks have low porosity in comparison to soils. Although rocks may have pots, fissures, bedding planes, etc., etc., and so many of its characteristic inherent properties, rocks can have ultra properties and attributes. Whilst the effects of weathering on soils are subtle and less variable, rocks have discontinuities. Spacing भी होती है, भी define होती है. Soils are continuous. Rocks have least principal stress, which is vertical. Soils have greatest principal stress as vertical. अब what I wish to say in the end of my lecture is, rocks are more complex to understand. और हमारा काफी vast area rocks में है. India में भी world wide है. जैसे India में Himalayan belt है, बाहर और तक. और माउंटेनस रीजन से उनके डिफरेंट जोन बेड्स और हेबिटेशन के लिए हमें स्ट्रक्चर पर कंस्ट्रक्ट करना ही पड़ता है सॉइल्स आर नॉट दैट मच कॉम्प्लेक्स एज रॉक तो व्हाट इन द एंड आई विश टू से इज कि सॉइल मैकेनिक्स एंड रॉक मैकेनिक्स आर टू बी यूज वाइसी वर्षा वाइसी वर्षा इन ऑर्डर टू हैव एन एफिशिएंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बोथ दीस मैकेनिक्स और any construction activity so dear friends this is what i wish to explain you all hope you would have understand understood the engineering geology subject in a very in a very brief spell of this lecture of mine hope you would love this lecture keep on subscribing to my channel thank you thank you